Good morning, Winnicunit. It's Sally Hamblett. What's up? It's Chrissy Conklin. We've got a pretty good show for you today. So this weekend, it's supposed to be pretty cold. I got chill. They're multiplying. And I'm lo losing focus. Hey, are you going to see Grease this weekend? Yes, I'm on Tech Crew for it, actually. Wow. Well, for those who don't know about the show, here's a story by Christina Levins and Hunter McKenzie. Hey, Winnicunit. This is Hunter McKenzie and Christina Levins here for WHTV. This weekend, Winnicunit is putting on its annual spring musical production. This year, they'll be performing the wildly popular musical Grease. Every year, Winnicunit puts on two stage productions for the Seacoast community here at the school in the auditorium, a fall play and a spring musical. This year, the musical is Grease, the wildly popular show set in the 1950s. The show, which was originally a 1971 musical by Jim Jacobs and Warren Casey, follows the story of a group of working class teenagers as they navigate the complexities of love in high school. The show features musical numbers and a score that recreates an early rock and roll sound. Directed by Peter Tomes and musical supervision by Patrick Moore, the show is the 15th longest running show on Broadway. Um, the musical is um, set in the 1950s, and I know that the composers that wrote it, they, they wrote it as a reminiscence of their years in high school. So all of the songs are in the style of 1950s music. So it's all um, rhythm and blues, doo-wop music. Um, it's, just a, it's just a tribute to that generation. It went on to become a hugely popular film starring John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. This year, the iconic lead roles of Danny Zuko and Sandy Olsen will be betrayed by Owen Thomas and Sarah Schwab. Hi, my name is Owen Thomas. I'm a senior and I'm playing Danny Zuko. He's one way with his friends and he's one completely different way with Sandy, who's played by Sarah Schwab. And he has sort of a secret love with her. Hi, my name is Sarah Schwab and I'm playing Sandy Dombrowski. And uh, Sandy is very shy and timid, but she's also very much in love with Danny. My name's Courtney Janvrin. I'm a senior this year, and I'm playing Miss Patty Simcox. I'm Eileen Weatherby, for those who don't know. <laughs> um, I'm playing Frenchie in Greece. It's been really fun working on Greece. Um, it's really sad that it's my last show. Well, it's been a long journey. I think, you know, it's, it's been a lot of fun. And I've been doing these musicals for all four years. You know, it's, it's just kind of like one big spectacle. I'm Nikki Hayden. I'm a senior. I play Rizzo. I just love being a part of it. I love being backstage, the energy, the audience, the lights, the sound. And um, just it's just a really good experience all around. And just I'm like sad to see it end. Other cast includes TJ Mason as Kaniki, Carrie Sears as Cha-Cha, and Taya Stefanov as Jan. Behind the scenes, an entire crew of students help create the production with providing lighting, sound, run crew, set and production design, and prop and costume management, just to name a few, which is headed by Taylor Rogers. Popular song numbers like Summer Nights, Beauty School Dropout, Greased Lightning, You're the One That I Want, and much more will be featured in the show. So come on out to see Grease this weekend. Well, Winnicunit, that's all we have for you today. And make sure to check out the show tonight or tomorrow here at Winnicunit in the auditorium. Have a great weekend. The musical looks like it will be amazing. Yes, it does, Sally. Are you okay, Chrissy? Oh, yeah. I'm just practicing my robot. Speaking of robots, did you go to the Vex Robotic Competition? No, I missed it. Well, don't worry. Ross Cohen and Ryan Welch have the story. Check it out. The Winnicunit Robotics team is one of the many clubs and activities WHS has to offer. Ross and I took a look at the Seacoast Winter Classic, which was held in the Wanakana Gymnasium. Let's take a look. On February 8th, Wanakana High School held its second VEC Seacoast Winter Classic. Robots took over the gym as engineering teams from 16 schools, including WHS, competed. Schools from all across New England attended this event. This year, the robots had to carry balls and put them down a plastic cylinder without falling over. There were other large inflatable balls, similar to beach balls, which had to be stacked on top. This year, the WHS team had 19 students. The majority were juniors and seniors, however, a few upperclassmen. We talked to some of the competitors and teachers to see how the competition went. Right now, our robot's doing okay, but it's not doing as we usually do. See, the thing is, what happened was our our axles actually bent during we were testing our autonomous and we had to start all over again put in new axles like this one it's now souvenir our robot's doing pretty good today you know we kind of had 
bit of a couple issues, but um, we got those resolved. And then I think that there's a couple of teams that are really, really powerhouses. So I think that they're going to win. But um, we had to put in new axles, and we're still failing. We keep on getting stuck and broken and everything. But we're still getting points. We're still getting up there. We're right now in eighth place. But we're still having a lot of problems. Two of our teams hadn't had any wins yet, and there's only five matches. But um, my brother's doing well, and he's doing superb now. So I'm going to pull him in. So our Seacoast Winter Classic this year uh, went awesome. We, uh, we had 60 teams show up from all over New England. And this is the second year doing it, and we plan on continuing on. And hopefully next year we'll have even more representation from the local uh, schools. I think it went pretty well. My team was in first place for quite a while and then ran into a bunch of issues. But, you know, <laughs> it tried. That's all we have for you today. Want to kind of get your robots built for next year. Ross and I, vexing out. Wow, what an amazing club. I wish I could buy their robots to show my school spirit. Well, you can't buy their robots, but you could get your school swag by going to the Warrior Trading Post, our very own school store. Here's a quick glimpse on the new school apparel brought to you by Megan LaPointe and Alex Larson. Hey, what's up, Winnicunna? It's Megan and Alex here. Today we got the inside scoop of the Warrior Trading Post new items. Check it out. Uh, some new items we have in the store. Uh, we have quarter zips and winter hats. Those are very popular right now. Well, our prices range from uh, 10 cents to $45. Uh, we have a whole variety of school supplies and uh, apparel. Our hottest selling item right now is the uh, winter hat. How we advertise, uh, we have billboards around the school. Um, we're trying to find a way to get on the internet somehow and just word of mouth right now. Uh, business is all right. Uh, not a lot during the school day, but when we open up for uh, special events like uh, Christmas sales and um, empty bowls and stuff like that. We have uh, we do pretty well. So, although Warrior Trading Post is closed on Mondays, it is open on Tuesdays and Fridays during A and B lunch, Wednesdays during B and C lunch, and Thursdays during A and C lunch. The store has everything ranging from sweatshirts and sweatpants, hats, scarves, shirts, water bottles, ice scrapers, and even headbands. It also has a variety of school supplies. So make sure to head over to the school store before all these cool items run out. This is Alex and Megan signing out. See ya. Well, that's all we have for you today, Winnicunnit. And before we forget, good luck to Taylor Chase at the Paralympics, a former student here at Winnicunnit. Have a great weekend, Warriors. Christy and Sally, signing off.